tonight under the floodlights at Blackwell Meadows as Darlington take on Kidderminster Harriers looking to make it six wins in a row. Alan Armstrong keeps faith with the same 11 that won in the Cup at Tamworth a week and a half ago, meaning no place in the 11 for Stephen Thompson, who remains on the bench. It's an unchanged starting 11 for the visitors, Kidderminster Harriers as well, with their only change in the 16 being Bertie Diaw in on the bench for Harry Higgins. A couple of players in this Kidderminster team that Darlington fans will recognise. Richard Penneke, formerly of uh, Halifax. Ashley Chambers, another one who's been around the league for a while. That's Darlington breaking forward now. Rivers trying to get through on the right hand side, collects the loose ball, plays it across. One touch and it'd be in. Nobody could get that. It spills across the goal for a, a goal kick in the end, but both sides in this opening two and a half minutes. Today, listening to us. My favourite bit about this, I think, is just how widespread the Dalo fan base actually is. And you get people tuning in from all over the world. Austin plays the ball up the right hand side, nodded away by Galbraith. Little collects it before it rolls over the touchline, plays it forward to O'Neill. He nods it back to Campbell. Campbell to Holness, but it's just ahead of him. Good intent though. Ryan Johnson able to clear, but it's a loose clearance. Darling can come again with Headley. Headley has a go, and Gregory has to push that over the bar. Where did that come from? Great save, Gregory and Headley took a touch forward and he took another one and nobody came near him. They were inviting the shot and he took them up on it Did. and uh, Gregory needed to be smart to push that one wide. Good play from, from the fullback Headley. Was flying into the roof of the net until Cameron Gregory suddenly thought, you know what, I need to tip this over. And into the first <laughs> corner of the game for Darling. We're 10 minutes in, we've had four corners. Quite a few shots already. He chests it down, plays it back to Michael Little, Darlington's number three tonight. He chips it over the top for Hollis, he chests it down for Campbell this time, he plays it out to the right-hand side for Headley. He's coming forward, I wonder if he's going to have another go, not this time, lays it out to Jarrett Rivers on the right-hand side. Rivers with the step overs, gets to the byline, gets across in, it's deflected, corner. This little, uh, nice little sl slid ball to Jarrett Rivers, who words Darlington in the corner. Turn quickly. Straight back to Rivers, trying to fashion some room for a cross, but he has to check back. Headley lofts one in, nodded away. Couldn't quite be collected by Campbell at the edge of the area, but he chases back to win it back anyway. Wheatley this time gets away from Hemmings. Hemmings to Galbraith, who's just coming back towards his more natural defensive position. Campbell inside to Holness, Holness lays it off to Hatfield. Hatfield inside for O'Neill, he turns, he shoots, it dribbles wide. Straight back underway again. Hatfield rides a couple of challenges, comes up over the ball, cuts it back to the edge of the area. Rivers into the area, he's gotten through. Laid back to Campbell, blocked. Campbell's going to get another go, back to goal. Still got it, trying to lay it back, but Kidderman's the sea of bodies. Just defensive numbers there, but get it away, but only as far as Little. Little to Wheatley up on the left hand side. Moyo gets a foot in, Darlington throw. That just was for a second. That was, that was close, Mike, that was close. And when the ball came back to Campbell there, I fancied him, but good defender and just blocked the shot. He had to get it through a few people to get it in at the back, and then that keeper had been left on the floor by the cut back, but his defender's covered for him. Ball in again. O'Neill heads it across, but there's no one there to get on the end of it, and it drops out for a goal kick. Referee gets the wall back. Darlington have sent almost everyone back. Their forward, should I say. Little to deliver. Can't get really past the front man though. It's going to be recycled by Wheatley who pops into the box. O'Neill heads it on, but no black and white shirt able to get close by. Kidderminster roll the ball out and give it to Hemmings. Hemmings trying on the counter attack as they've been eager to do so far tonight. Just runs through a couple of men there. He's still got the ball here. Hemmings on that left foot. He's going to have a shot from distance, but it's well, how many what, how many yards wide are you giving that? Five yards? It's, it's hard enough for a tired commentator, Mike. A tired defender. <laughs> Thompson making his return back from the groin injury. Bolus leaps highest and well, nods the ball back down to O'Neill. O'Neill turns, he's 35 yards from goal, comes inside a couple of challenges and earns down the free kick. Sam Williams bringing him down there after he'd ridden a couple of other challenges already. Oh, for a second, I thought taking it quickly, but he's going to take a second. Oh, the buzz is back. And it's gone. 
Headley stands over the free kick, knocks into the box, can't quite get past the first man, but it pops back out to Holness. It's, it's Rivers inside the box, and he shoots through the goalkeeper, hard into the bottom corner. Jarrett Rivers makes it 1 0, Michael. Great move from the free kick. Ball worked into Jarrett Rivers, he takes one, two touches, and just slides it under Cameron Gregory. Darlington have probably just about edged the first half, and finally, 40 minutes in, have the lead they deserve. We've got to uh, mention there, uh, Reese Williams uh, was, uh, I think everyone was waiting for a free kick perhaps to be given as the ball went in from the first phase. I think it was O'Neill and Williams went for it together and uh, the Kidderminster players incensed thinking that Williams got caught in the face by a high boot from O'Neill and I must admit I paused for a second expecting the referee to give it. Uh, Williams is down getting some treatment now from, uh, from the medical team as if he's taken one in the face. Uh, but the referee saw nothing in it, play continued, the ball bounced to Rivers and he slid it under the goalkeeper for the opening goal. Second goal of the season, for Jarrett Rivers gives Darlow the lead. If anyone can confirm that would be great as we've changed the latest match of technical now. difficulties are resolved. So I think everyone who wants to be listening to us on Darlow Fans Radio can now listen to us I think. Collects the ball ahead of Campbell, but that's loose, and Gregory Goal kick. Well, I tell you what, he's seized on a heavy touch he there, has, Campbell, yeah. and he's uh, he had a choice. The goalkeeper came out, and Campbell tried to get a shot away first time, but then the goalkeeper's just clattered Campbell, hasn't he? So, explain to me why that isn't an infringement. I can't. Because Gregory's, I mean, he's, he's cleaned him out, hasn't he? Campbell's, that, yeah. Campbell's honest there, honest the day as the day is long. Got the field with it now for the visitors. Ball back to Johnson, had O'Neill chasing, it was a pretty close one. Johnson gets to it, get him in to keep possession. And they are, as Stu said, just enjoying a little spell here with the ball. Now we need to stay alert. Ball into Pennicut, gets the shot away. Good defending again by Alex Storey there. Because as well, you can just see someone stood in there, dug out like the come on. Thompson underneath that ball. Gets uh, on the end of it first to win and gets a left footed shot just a yard wide. That's Stephen Thompson's first impression on this game. All of a sudden, out of nothing, isn't it? it often is with Tom out. Ball's now with Weeks and Kidderminster again. Plenty of possession in this second half. Wheatley's done very nicely there to disrupt play and Darling get the chance to go back with Liddle and then Wheatley picks it up again. Wheatley and Hatfield making a nuisance of themselves. Liddle gets the ball back and then <coughs> Wheatley, but Wheatley's been dispossessed on the edge of the box there. He got a little shove, but the referee says play on. Ball's on the edge. Darling get men back now, though, to try and block the shot and then the shot's comfortably saved by Liam Connell. Darlington just maybe over elaborating there, weren't they? There, yeah, a little he won his first aerial battle as well. That looks like the plan, the one of the plans for Kidderminster. Donoghue leaps, but it's beaten in the air by the taller Ryan Johnson. Stephen Thompson takes a turn there and goes past a couple of challengers. Looks for an out ball, but there's not really any immediately for him. Gives it ball to gives it to Rivers wide. Rivers a couple of step overs, but clumsy footwork. You don't see that very often out with Jared Rivers. He just overstepped it there. Has to concede the throw-in. Just awarded man of the match by our sponsors tonight as well. Just went to his head. <laughs> uh, again, the two defenders uh, rise and eventually Darlington do clear the lines. Thompson picks it up again. Thompson bursts to the edge of the 18-yard box. Comes inside, little step over. He'll try and take a corner if he can. Gets it across. Donoghue, goal-bound header. Just blocked there on its way to goal. Donoghue leapt highest. and, and just uh, Bounced just off Moyo, didn't it? Just, just blocked there on the way to goal. Good leap again from Justin Donoghue. Thompson did well as well to play him in, and now Kidderminster to come again through weeks. Play the ball, chip forward diagonal, looking for the substitute again. It's Headley who has to win the second ball. Lang was beaten in the air there by Brandon Diaw, although he's uh, giving away six inches there probably to him. Ball's now played inside by Weeks. There's a chance for Kidderminster inside the box. Got it across. Great save wow. by Connell. I mean, I think it's <laughs> a wonderful save by Connell, but it should have been tucked away, to be honest. He should never have had a chance to make he, the save no, there. No, he shouldn't. That's the, it's, it's probably in the one area where he could get something on it. He gets How? He's still questioning how he gets something on it, but well, the ball that's, was, that's the, the last warning we're going to get, isn't it? The, I'm trying to see who it was, the kid who missed the player. The connection wasn't good enough, and he really should have given mm. Connell no chance. I mean, 30 seconds or so left, and I'm going to say now 30 seconds left for Darling to hang on, and the crowd around here encouraged them on. <laughs> I think everyone realises this could be six straight wins here. 
Ball's going forward. Rivers has beaten two. It almost falls for Donovan. I thought for only, a second he was going to get on the end of it. Stopped. I think he'd have been able to run onto that. That's it. And there we go. The referee blows his whistle, Mr. Wynn. And Darlington go six games, six straight wins for the Quakers with a 1 0 win here at home to Kidderminster Harriers. <laughs> Jarrett Rivers with the goal. Jarrett Rivers, the difference. Jarrett Rivers, the man of the match. Some question marks over whether there was a foul in the build up for the goal. Nobody in black and white will be complaining about that now. It was the difference. Of all of, uh, of all of the games in this six-match run, and I think I've seen five of them, I think, that's <laughs> the only one where we've been hanging on yeah. at the end, I think. Kidderminster, up until the last ten minutes, had all of the ball without creating a lot of chances. But